The Lagos state government says the state is open for business and has restated its commitment to creating an enabling environment for all businesses to thrive. The Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Toke Benson uh, Woyinka, stated this while fielding questions from journalists shortly after a tour of some tourist sites in Lagos Island. Plus TV correspondent Love Oyedeku was there and now reports. The Commissioner for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Toke Benson Awoyinka led a tour of the historic Onikon House. She was accompanied by the managing director of Selling Bank, Abubakar Suleiman, and the director general of the National Commission of Museums and Monuments, Nigeria, Ulubili Holloway. The group learned about the wealth of culture and history embodied by the Onikon House. Next, the group visited the National Museum where the commissioner explored Nigeria's historical artifacts and underscored the significance of preserving and showcasing the nation's heritage. During her campaign to promote cultural tourism in the region, Benson Awoyinka toured the historic J.K. Rondo Center on Lagos Island. The architecturally impressive and historically significant center serves as a vital cultural hub for the state of Lagos. Her visit included an in-depth exploration of the center's diverse facilities, such as exhibition halls and event spaces. The tour concluded with a visit to Freedom Park on Lagos Island. This national memorial, historical landmark, cultural site and arts and recreation center has a storied past. It once served as a prison for political activists who fought for Nigeria's independence. Benson Awoyinka, so elated, gave her thoughts on the tour. Lagos is a huge city that is filled with so much history and so much heritage. The untold story of Lagos, that's the reason why we have come up this morning with the MD of Sterling Bank and the DG of the National Museums to show Lagosians and to show the world the potential of Lagos tourism, the potential of showing off our heritage, the potential of us telling our history. She highlighted the need for continued collaborations and investment in cultural sites. Lagos is open to business. Lagos is open to promote tourism. Lagos is open to showcase our art and our heritage, our culture. We're embedded with so much culture and this is the time to show it. So we're going to create that enabling environment for all the businesses in Lagos to thrive, for collaborations, for people, for our young people to thrive. Because if you look around us, we have a demography of very, very young individuals who are waiting out there, seeking that for us to hold up that hand and we're ready for them now. Tourism is also a business. Um, the way you grow tourism, the way you grow art and, and culture and the creative industry is to make sure that there is enough resources to invest. It's only when you've invested that you can then raise the standard so that people from all over the world can see and be willing to come here. If you go on this tour and you see the incredible wealth of um, history that is hidden on the ground, that is just waiting to be put out there, you understand that there is a lot of opportunity for business, opportunity for job creation, opportunity to also project this city and this country in the right light. I think the most important thing in this partnership is for us to, like I always say, begin to retell our stories. The National Museum itself is a national monument and within that we have artifacts that go as far back as the 15th century. So these artifacts tell not just the Lagos State story but the story of Nigeria. And by partnering with Lagos State, we can make the National Museum a tourist destination in a wider ecosystem of cultural tourism. Oniko itself is a cultural hub. The commissioner firmly believes that collaboration between the public and private sectors is crucial for showcasing the region's rich cultural heritage and economic opportunities. Love Uyedukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.